There's one particular argument online that I've encountered as my limited following has grown, which is if I engage with someone publicly, I am the, the, the then the, the logic is I have this army of like plebes, like a keem star, like one of them would have, who then attack that person. That's not real. It's not a real thing. And uh, it's just not a real thing. It, it, it's, it's because I almost never, other than people I really don't like who have attacked me many times in the past, like John Dan Brown, I don't really attack people. Uh, usually if I catch someone, or uh, catch someone, if I encounter someone who's tweeting horrible shit about me, like Lexi Alexander was, and they're, you know, not tagging me, my general first instinct is to make a joke. This actually happened today with this, uh, with this girl Tess, where I had been recommended to her professionally, and I went to her Twitter and <laughs> scrolled down, and she was insulting me. And I made a joke about being sad about it. And her response was, he has sicked his army on me. This isn't real. This is not harassment. If you insult someone publicly and they show up and go, hey, ouch, you don't get to then say, you're not allowed to respond. That's a child. That's a child's logic. That's you are not taking responsibility for your actions. You are ignoring basic human courtesy. I understand that on the internet, it can be easy to think that someone isn't a person, but they are. So when you shit talk people publicly, they might show up and to block them because you're being harassed and being harassed is bullshit. Especially when they're not, I didn't say, I have yet to say anything mean about Lexi Alexander or this girl, the woman, Tess, this artist, Tess. I have never attacked these people. I, I am not an attacky person, especially because I'm a fan of Lexi Alexander's movies and I was interested in working with Tess Fowler. So it's like the, the level of a joke the level of disconnect from reality, from me being a real person, that you would have to have to block me when I say, hey, why are you making fun of me, is crazy. Because I don't want to fuck with your day, and no one should want to fuck with your day. If one of my crazy followers, uh, you know, says messages you like, hey, why are you doing that? You know what's a really like a great way to deal with that? Is just message me back. Like, I'm not harassing you. I'm not harassing you in a bar. If I was in a bar and you were over there yelling, Max Landis is an asshole, and, you know, I'd never met you before in my life, guess what? I'd probably go over there and say, why are you yelling that? And that doesn't make me evil or bad. And I hate that logic. I think 99.9% .9 of people um, would understand that. But, you know, it's the Trump thing. It's the Trump thing. You're Trump when you do that. Attack someone, then they go, hey, don't attack me. And then you go, oh, I'm the victim. That's Trump. Fear. Yikes. And, you know, no amount of talking to people like this will make them think about it, really, because they're in an echo chamber. And I, pr I try to pride myself on just being accessible and just trying to help people and, and, and interact with people, especially people who have different opinions than I do, or, or someone who has a negative opinion of me, because I'm still convinced the reason, the only reasons to like dislike me are like all bullshit, and all, they all contradict each other. If you want to dislike me because I have an annoying voice and I'm real intense, those are good reasons. I'm not here to tell you why you can or can't dislike me. It just drives that logic of, I attack you, you respond, I say you, you're attacking me, is bonkers loony to me and really, like, sad. To quote Donald Trump, sad, period. Sorry, this is a bit of a rant, but it drives me crazy.